How to create sticky scroll effect in Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a sticky scroll effect and a very high quality design into your Wix Studio website. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com, sign in for an account in the platform and then you are going to choose one of the websites that you have uh, that are uh, or that is built in Wix Studio. So here we have the site's dashboard. So we have the label of built on Wix Studio. We are going to choose one of the websites. So I'm going to click on this. It will pop up here at the Wix Studio dashboard. Once you're here, you are going to click on edit site directly and you are going to wait for the uh, website to load up. Our website is ready as you can see. So we are going to start the work. First thing that I am going to do here is to add an empty section or a blank section. So we are going to see here the, uh, an in, or we are going to choose an interest section. So basically we are going to click on add section here. And from there we are going to make here, I have made it wrong. So I do not need basically a, another section. We're going to make that section a little bit uh, here bigger. So we're going to make it like this. And this is the section right there. Now, what I am going to do here is to set up the section to rows. So basically here, I'm going to create three rows. Here we have two, as you can see, we are going to add another one. So we are going to set up here the rows. As you can see, we have normally the same, uh, let's go ahead and add or set up the same uh, right there. As you can see here, the same size. So we are going to make the other rows like, or the other row like the um, the rest of the ones that we have made before. So I am going basically right there to uh, here see the rows. Where are our rows? So here we are going to select this section. So basically right there, the rows normally are here. We're going to see them under the layout. Here we have the rows. So I have to make sure that the each row of them is having the same size. As you can see, we have here three rows. We're going to see here the element inspector to help us do the things right there. So I am going basically here to change the color or the background of this specific uh, here. As you can see, uh, the section. So I am going to also this specific row right there. I'm going to change it to another color like this one, for example, here. And for the last one or the last row is going to be here the same. So we are going to do that. Now, all we need to do is to add some, uh, let's say here, a column. So I'm going to click on the right side of the button, click quick add. And here we are going to add a container. So we are going to click on container. I am going to stretch it. Uh, I hear I'm not going to make it here all the way right there like that. But we are going simply right there to make the uh, container like that. So I'm going to make it here. Boom. I think that it, this is sufficient for me. I'm going to stretch it a little bit like that. Uh, so I'm going here to copy it, put it here also put it right there so now we are going simply to click on here on the container so we are going to regulate the border of the container so right there we have the borders so we are going to set up not the borders but the corners for example we are going to give it here a 20 uh, percent or uh, or let's say here 40 pixel border also like that this is uh, better so for this one also, we are going to do the same thing as the last one. So basically, as you can see, I have adjusted the corners uh, to 40 pixel. Here we have added uh, some images or a image from the uh, quick add right there. I have added an image and I have changed the uh, containment of or the containers of each one of the images. Now, the final step is to set up the cells to sticky position. So we are going to select here the cell 
and then we are going simply to select here the cell, the entire cell. Now we are going to head over the position, position type, set up here sticky. We're going to do the same thing for the next cell, which is going to be here under it. So we are going to see for the position, set up sticky. Also here, the third cell, I'm going to make sure that I am going to select the cell like that and set the position of it to sticky. I think that I have made here a mistake. Where it is? It is the cell here. I'm going to select the cell only. So here we have it, sticky. Now I have set up everything. Now we are going to preview the website. We're going to see the uh, here the effect that we've made. So as you can see, we're going to see here the first cell. When you scroll down, it is going to be sticky like that for the second image and boom, for the third image like that. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.